In this video, we're going to look at the Euler product formula, and um, I I find this a quite interesting result. And lately, the Riemann zeta function's been in the news as uh, someone proved it. And you always hear how the primes are related to the Riemann zeta function. And so in this uh, video, we're going to look at sort of step one of how the primes are related to the Riemann zeta function. Um, before I give you the formula or the result, I'm going to go through three background uh, areas that you will need to appreciate this result. I think most will know these, but it, those that don't, I think that it'll be helpful. First is the uh, a geometric series here, one r, one r squared, r cubed, etc. Um, if we denote that by s, and then we multiply um, s by r, then each one of these the, is r, r squared, r cubed, and then we subtract them, and then this eliminates everything here with just the one left over and then s minus rs factor out the s divide by the one minus r you get this and then of course this can be taken to the numerator as uh, raised to the minus one power okay and of course this the radiance of convergence has to be satisfied for any, all these steps to be valid um, and then of course you might argue that this, you know, even if it's not, it's an, it's one analytic conversion, but we're not really going to go into that. Um, next is uh, every number has a unique prime factorization. So every number has a unique factorization. Um, and so, so or every positive number, integer. Um, and here's some examples. So 6 is 2 times 3. Oh, these primes can be raised to a power. So 12 is 2 squared times 3. 22 is 2 times 11. 600 is 2 cubed times 3 times 5 squared. Anyway, so every positive integer has a unique factorization. Okay? The next one is when you're, you're foiling stuff. Or, you know, you're going to multiply this out. You know, you get these terms. Well, there's different ways to think about this. Um, you know, one is we could multiply this out, and there'd be four terms, and then you take those four terms times this, and you'd get eight terms. But um, you can think of it another way. There's two things to choose here, two here, two here, so two times two times two is eight, and then you each combination of those eight so you pick one so a times d times f is one of them b times c times f is another so as long as you go through all eight combinations you will get this answer okay all right so now the result and that is the oil of product formula if we let the p script be the set of all primes which is two three five seven etc then this product is equal to this sum, okay? And this right here is the Riemann zeta function, which is actually a special case of the Dirichlet series, okay? Um, so w let's prove that. And, and it's a heuristic proof. We could make it rigorous, but I think it lo loses some of the beauty of, of this result. So this product is this. So it's, you, you put in a, the first prime, take it times this with the third prime, this times the, I mean, the second prime, the third prime, etc. Well, each one of these is, uh, since it's one, um, 1 over 2s, and then assuming that that, and s can be a complex number or not. So, so assuming that this meets the, it's in the radius of convergence which really means that your the uh, real part is greater than one um, it can be replaced with these infinite sums like the background number one that we covered so this is really this so it's one plus you know this would be r1 and this is r2 and so that's where the two comes in so but when you square it 
and then a one is always one so the two is in this piece and this is the cubed r cubed and then here you do the same thing and here you do the same thing now this next step is um part three actually where now we need to foil this we need to take this product out but here there's an infinite number and an infinite number and an infinite number so th this product is going to have an infinite number of terms but as long as we uniquely pluck these out and multiply them you know then it's, it's still valid so um, we're going to do it this way so first let's take the, the ones on each of these each of the terms and one times one times one times you know you get one now for this second term we're going to take this term times one times one times one times one and we just get this and this term we're going to take one times three times one times one times one times one and we get this okay and then now for this term we're going to take this term which you know two squared is four so this times one times one times one times one times one and you get this so this one we're going to take it one times one times this term times one times one times one times one here we're going to take uh, this term times you know one over three s times one times one times one times one so then this times that is one sixth s so we can do this in such a way because um, each each uh, positive integer has a unique prime factorization that's what we're doing with all these terms here is we're creating that unique factorization so we can create all these terms with this product by plucking out unique ones to create our numbers here well this here you know is um, this term in, uh, the sum from 1 to infinity in s and so that's we generate this well then this you can take to the top and it becomes the sum of n s and this is the um, Riemann zeta function and so anyway so I think it's a pretty neat and pretty fascinating proof how the primes are associated with the Riemann zeta function um, and anyway this is step one in how the primes are related and since this is pretty heavy in the news I may do a few more videos in these regards anyway I hope you enjoyed it that's all I have today if you did please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one thanks bye